ダンススポーツって言って世界選手権だってあるんだから僕も戦国さんみたいに試合とか出られるプロに冷やかしそれともスケベ兵道清春お前と同じ中3だよろしくよろしく右左Hey everyone, welcome at Takisoba with our review for Welcome to the Ballroom. I'm the anime pro Malesh here at Anime Casual Nate. Ballroom was one of my most anticipated anime in 2017 and I absolutely loved it. Did it make you want to take a ballroom dancing, Nate? It sure did. n t Ballroom was an interesting anime for me to watch since it was a sparse anime, but I really dislike dancing, so it didn't fully capture me. Nonetheless, let's talk about the story. Ballroom aired in summer 2017 with 24 episodes that focused on Tatara Fujito's journey to become a ballroom dancer. Tatara grew up with no hobbies and would always come back home after school. Since starting high school, he still hasn't come into his own, and one day while getting bullied, A man named Kaname Sengoku comes to his rescue. Sengoku turns out to be a famous dancer who at first is trying to get Tatoro to enroll in his dance studio. However, Tatoro borrows one of Sengoku's DVDs, becomes so inspired, he immediately wants to take up ballroom dancing and be as good as Sengoku. From there, the story follows Tatoro getting introduced to other dancers who he either partners with or competes with. Like most sports anime, the story follows a generic training and tournament arc. s But seeing t a t o r a grow with each arc was awesome to see. I don't really follow sports in real life, and I've only ever seen one other sports anime, Ping Pong the Animation. I loved Ping Pong the Animation a lot, despite never actually playing Ping Pong. It was all about the captivating characters. When it comes to ballroom, however, I don't just not dance personally, I actually dislike it. Thus, I really couldn't get invested in the underlining story, but it's mostly tropes anyway, right? Sadly for me, I still couldn't get interested in the characters in this anime, so let's talk about those now. As we mentioned, Tatra is the main character of this anime. He's a good kid, and I like how invested in dance he becomes. But his only moment of true competency in ballroom dancing comes about 22 episodes in. You wouldn't want the main character to level up too fast, so the pacing wasn't bad, but Tatra is a crybaby and bad at communication. I felt that some episodes really dragged on because of this. Tatra was trying his best, but he was still a bit dense, and I just didn't care about him as much as the other characters. It literally takes two to tango. And I thankfully enjoyed the other main characters, the most important being his partner Chinatsu and Tatra's new friend from the dance studio, which Malesh will discuss. Chinatsu becomes Tatra's permanent dance partner halfway through the show. She uses the flow to Tatra's timidness by being a feisty girl that feels confident about her dancing. Seeing the two grow together through the latter half of the show was the highlight of ballroom for me. The couple went through many trials and tribulations, but towards the end, they became awe inspiring to watch. Tatra's first partner, Mako, was a shy, reserved girl that brought out some of Tatra's leadership in dancing. Hyodo served as a rival and mentor for Tatra, as Hyodo comes from a family of ballroom dancers. I liked their interactions, because you could tell that Hyodo knew how talented Tatra could be. Hyodo's partner, Shizuku, also helps out Tatra and becomes a bit of a love interest, or at least infatuation. Lastly, Tatra sparred with more rivals like Hot Headed Gaju. Welcome to the Ballroom was animated by Production IG. They are known for making some popular sports anime such as Haikyuu, Kuroko's Basketball, and Prince of Tennis. Ballroom has a prototypical IG art style, but there are some weird aspects to it, like the characters' giraffe necks and stylized faces. Beyond that, Ballroom had some incredible animation, especially with the dance scenes that wowed me. While it's not their best work, IG definitely did something good with Ballroom. I think Production IG did a great job with Ballroom. While I was also slightly off put by the character designs themselves, they were unique and gave the show identity. The animation was good, and dramatic moments of really intense movement was portrayed well with very stylized choreography. Now let's move on to the soundtrack and voice acting. I loved both opening themes, and the endings were enjoyable as well. As for the general soundtrack, it made me feel immersed, especially in the competition scenes. The characters actually danced to the tango or solo dance tracks. Which was awesome. I have no complaints with voice acting, nothing too stand out either. Overall, I love the variety the soundtrack had. I also thought the soundtrack was okay. During the dancing scenes, more of the focus is placed on the character's inner thoughts instead of the music, so it doesn't stand out too much. As for the theme music, I disliked both the opening and ending theme for the first half, but when they change up in the second half, I liked that music a lot more. As for the voice acting, it was great, and the subtitles are more than easy enough to follow for any non anime fans. 
When I was watching Ballroom, it wasn't until the second half of the show that I felt much interest at all. While I did end up liking it just a little bit, I'd say if you aren't grabbed by episode 6, just drop it. I wouldn't recommend this anime 100%, but I wouldn't discount it either. I'm just neutral. It does have its moments, so if you watch the trailer for it and you think you're interested, go for it. I also think it's a great first sports anime since competitive ballroom dancing is pretty unique when it comes to anime. Welcome to the Ballroom is another great sports anime as everything a sports fan could ask for. I love Tatra's character development and growth. The manga has been on hiatus due to the manga cut Tomo Taguichi's help. I hope she continues to get better so eventually we can get a second season to the show. If you want to watch Welcome to the Ballroom, it can only be streamed on Amazon Prime Video. As always, if you've already watched Welcome to the Ballroom, click the first thing in the description for a post review discussion, which includes spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of Welcome to the Ballroom. Please give it a like or a comment for feedback, and we'll see you guys next time with a new Taki Soba review. Ciao!